And good afternoon and thank you so much for choosing 2 News Oklahoma at noon. I'm Justin Fisher. Our top story this afternoon, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office uncovered the vehicle two men were supposed to be driving into Texas. Well, we've closely followed the disappearance of Jack Grimes and his friend Dwayne Selby all week. Wednesday, we told you there's also a silver alert for Dwayne's mother, Glenda Parton. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Naomi Kitt is live at Mohawk Park with how deputies found that car. Naomi, what can you tell us? Justin, so it was around 430 this morning when the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office tells us security guards right here at Mohawk Park actually found that car. It was right here by that trash can. You can see across the street. Deputies told me that the car actually had several stickers on it, stickers that they normally put on cars that need to be moved. I got a chance to talk with some fishermen out here who told me they've actually seen that car for days. They didn't think anything of it until deputies showed up this morning. The Sheriff's Office was out here searching for hours this morning. It's in the video you're seeing right now. I learned the tactical tracking unit was also out here with their canine. They didn't though find any signs of those missing men in the park. Deputies have been looking for 76 year old Jack Grimes and 59 year old Dwayne Selby all week. They were supposed to go to a horse show in Texas Friday. Right now, deputies don't believe they ever made it there. Monday night, Dwayne's mom, Glenda Parton, went to Turley to search for her son. She was seen on surveillance video at a local store with a person of interest. Deputies say they've gotten a lot of solid tips and they hope to identify that man soon. Glenda hasn't been seen or heard from since Monday. This is a, another twist in what is a very unusual uh, investigation, to say the least. But you know what? It's finding the car is a piece to the puzzle. I did get a chance to talk with the family of these missing men and of Glenda as well. They actually told me that these two men were seen in Purcell Friday night. I asked the sheriff's office about that this morning, and I'll have their answers for you coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live in Tulsa, Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.